Good morning, bullpups. This is Mrs. Bailey on Tuesday Teacher Talk Day, bringing you nonfictionminute.org. Nonfictionminute.org is a fascinating website with passages of varying topics on things that are real, hence nonfiction. Now, the great thing about this website is it helps you build some background knowledge and it helps you build your vocabulary. If you don't want to read, the really cool thing is, is that there's audio that is incorporated into the little quick reading passages, and it doesn't take more than a few minutes to listen to them. Also, if you click this icon, it will take you to extension activities in which you can try out some of the things that are discussed in the passage or learn more. Today, I'm going to read to you Flat Paper Flight, but if you didn't want to listen to me, you can simply go to nonfictionminute.org and click on the audio. Today I'm reading you this one because I thought, well, on a, on a cloudy, rainy kind of day, something fun to do is making paper airplanes, right? Listen to the expert paper airplane maker, John Collins. Here we go. Since he was a boy, John Collins has been fascinated by paper airplanes. Who isn't? Most of us have folded the familiar dart-shaped classroom airplane. Good fun. And it's science. Big and small aircraft depend on the same four principles. Weight of the craft drag, wind resistance over the craft, lift, upward force from air passing over the craft's flight surfaces, and thrust, what pushes the craft. A 747 jumbo jet and a paper airplane depend on the same forces. Collins wanted to fold this aero science into paper, but how to build, fold, complex principles into something so small? He found the ancient Japanese art of origami and used its sculptural tricks. He created paper aircraft that do astonishing things. One comes back in a horizontal, horizontal circle like a boomerang. Another flies up, turns over, and comes back vertically. One actually flaps its wings as it glides slowly. To John, they're all working science experiments. Every flight leads to some knowledge and to new ideas for tweaking the aircraft so it flies better. John Collins became the paper airplane guy. He believes that scientific research happens everywhere, every day. He says, it doesn't take computers, lab coats, microscopes, and the like. It takes a hunger to know. Science is just the structured way we find stuff out. The science you can do with a simple sheet of paper is no less important than what, we can, than what can be done with an electron microscope. On February 26, 2012, John and Joe Ayub stood in a big windless aircraft hangar with John's best so far flyer, Suzanne. He named it after his wife. Joe was a professional football quarterback who learned to throw Suzanne hard, but steady. Not like a football, but like a delicate piece of origami. Joe threw Suzanne up, up, and it dived down to fly, really fly, 226 feet and 10 inches. Guinness World Record for Distance Thrown. John wanted paper airplanes to become young people, to welcome young people into science. He started a national paper airplane contest called the Kickstarter Project with a big prize for anyone who throws Suzanne farther than Joe. Or you could throw your own, better, more aeronautically, elegant paper airplane. It was a simple scientific task. Every paper airplane and every flight would be a new experiment, just as important as the Wright Brothers Kitty Hawk flight. Science isn't just geeks and labs. We're all part of it. The project didn't get support and ended. John would like to direct people to www.thenationalpaperairplanecontest.com. Air and science museums across the country will be hosting events. The museums get three Fly for Fun days, STEM education days that teach basic flight concepts and skills for the national contest. If you go down here, take a look at the pictures, you can see some of John's designs. And John Collins with one of his planes whizzing past him and his airplane book. And here are some directions for how to create a paper airplane. So I hope you take the opportunity, go to nonfictionminute.org, find the article on flat paper flight and create your own paper airplane. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a happy Tuesday.